What's the day? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Came home and got me some homemade taco salad. Child, I didn't have all my ingredients. I was out of sour cream. I forgot I had these little 100 calorie packs of guacamole. That's the oldest brand. I guess it's all the brands because I get it from them. So I'm going to use that today. Oh, very good, very good. On here I got lettuce, tomatoes. I had some corn left over from my dinner the other night, some kernel corn. So I threw that on there. I didn't want to open up a whole can of black beans. And I had enough meat in the freezer for one taco salad because I try to section it off when I make it. So, I had that. And for my drink, y'all, I got some orange jungle juice. I'm in my living room, so it might be a little dark in here. I got the blinds open just slightly. And the, one of the lamps on this. I don't know why they make these places with no ceiling lights. Got to get me some chips, y'all, on the side. Yeah. Anyway. Let me say my prayers. Dear Lord, thank you for the food I'm about to see. If not one body, that's no more. Anyway, how's everybody's day going? I hope good. Hope you had a wonderful Wednesday. They're trying to get everybody to go to paperless. Um, paperless on their uh, payroll thing. On the paycheck stubs. I have direct deposit, but I don't know what it is. I still like to get my stub. Oh, I have what? Lettuce, tomatoes, did I tell you? Cheese, a little shredded cheese, that little Mexican blend. It's that ground beef meat and um, salsa and some jalapeno. Mmm. And that corn. Mmm. 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 You know, I was talking to one of my co-workers, y'all, and she was all bent out of shape about something because we got an email inviting us to go somewhere, and I wasn't going nowhere because it's too double hunt, and she was on the email distribution, right? And when she mentioned it to the person, I don't know if they meant anything bad or not, but the person said, well, yeah, you're welcome to come. And so she took it to me and said she felt like the invitation wasn't sincere and she wasn't meant to be included. Because... I don't know. So, she was kind of upset about it. <clears throat> Frankly, I told her, I thought, she, I, mean, I didn't tell her this, but I thought she took it the wrong way. But, I don't know, how do you feel about that? Yeah. You feel like you wasn't included in something. Would it bother you? I guess. I don't know. I know when I was younger and a kid, that stuff used to bother me. But y'all, since I've become 40, I'm well into my 40s. Now I'm 47. I'm like... I don't really care if you want me to become or not. You know, if you invite me somewhere, don't invite me. I don't have to be included in everything. I enjoy my own company. And I was talking to someone recently and she was telling me that, you know, her and one of my other girlfriends were going out and uh other girlfriend said no she was gonna spend a 
stay with her man that night. And so my other girlfriend said, I should be glad when I have a man. And I said, be careful what you pray for. Okay. She just got through getting a divorce in February. Don't be so quick to jump out of the frying pan into the fire. You know, learn how to enjoy your own company. Learn how to enjoy yourself. You know, I don't know if she appreciated what I had to say. Or not. Because that's part of the problem. People jump from one thing to the next. Without ever taking the time to learn themselves and spend them time with themselves. And learn if they even like themselves. You know, you wrap yourself up in someone so much until you lose your own identity. And that's why I see a lot of people jump in relationships. And uh, I'm not saying don't do anything with the person. Because you should, you know. But you should also have your own interests. You know, people just stop living. Didn't you have a life before you met this person? What were you doing with your time? But a lot of times, I think I see this more in women, though. Anything, they just drop everything. Mm. Just become enamored with everything now other person wants to do the man most of the time and they lose themselves and men continue to live their life you know and do the things that they were doing before and a lot of times women can't understand that they don't want to spend every waking hour with you they might want to spend a lot of time with you but they still want to I don't know have some time to themselves. I don't know. I believe in marriage, y'all. And I'll get married again. But sometimes, I don't know. I've been by myself for a little while now. And I was in another long-term relationship. And I date occasionally. But I think sometimes the longer you be by yourself, and I don't know if I'm getting this way, I tend to kind of like things my way in my house, so. Do you lose your ability to compromise? I think I would still compromise, but I'm not too sure as to what length I would be willing to. But I guess I'd have to fall in love first, I guess. Or be in love with somebody, love somebody to that extent. And I'm not I don't know what's going on with this camera. I got plenty of storage on it. I don't know why it's acting up so lately. Every time I try to do a video now, it's cutting off. I probably need to break open that camera my brother gave me. Anyway. If I don't if this camera cut off again, I'm not going to try to restart it, y'all, but I'm going to try to merge these. And so if it cut off, I'm going to upload it, and I want y'all to have a blessed and beautiful night. And if it cuts off again. Anyway. Yeah, I really like those little 100 calorie packs of dresses. I don't know what I was talking about. Well, I know what I was talking about, but I don't know where I ended it. That I don't know if I would be able to go back into a
situation right now like that of a marriage. Because you have to come compromise. And it has to be some give and take. Yeah. This might sound selfish or something. I don't know. But my daughter just moved out. So. I really just want to spend some time focusing on me for a little while. So. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say that you know sometimes it's nice to get up and just think about yourself. Been married, and it's not nice to just only consider yourself when you're married or when you're a parent. Or you can't do that. You can't just focus on you. So I've had a whole two weeks of it, and I'm enjoying it. For now, for now, anyway. Are any of you out there empty nesters or recently divorced? Or hey, guys, me and this camera just will not see eye to eye today. It keeps cutting off. So, I probably won't get a chance to finish this. But remember that you are loved. I love you. God loves you the most. Always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And remember, remember to share your smile with someone. Help uplift their day. Say an encouraging word to someone. Always just have a lovely and joyful spirit if you can and whenever you can. Because there's just too much downtrodden things going on in the world. And you can stay down if you allow that to get to you. Say a prayer for someone else. It's nice to pray for people you just never know when they need to be prayed for. Even those who have done something wrong against you, take time to say a prayer for them and wish them well. I know sometimes that's hard to do, but try to do it anyway. I'm going to finish up this salad, y'all, for tonight and sit here and watch the news. I hate to hear about the shootings that went on today, but I'm going to try to catch the news and see what's going on in the world. Y'all have a good night, and I'll catch you later this week. Love you. Bye.